Welcome back to Freestyle Metal X. This time we're going to level 6, Skull Valley. And I've shown off all the engine classes, so I could pick the bike you get for beating the game, but I'm going back to the tried and true and very colorful Crusher 250. What the hell was that guy in the background doing? Uh, that's your guy, and he's doing some kung fu. No, no, no. Watch. You know what? He's what? off to the left, right? Uh, where is he? What? Oh, there he is. Oh, no, yeah, that's that your guy. Yeah, that is. You know, oh, he's that's... Ronnie Kung Fu Faust, so he does kung fu. Oh, now so I this understand. Is Skull Valley, and at the end of the last episode, we were talking about how the guys get more degenerate looking. Yeah. And I'm proposing that, like, since, you know, it's it's Johnny Demonic's evil forces, you know, Johnny Demonic. You're getting closer and closer, closer to Mordor, to so <laughs> everybody's yeah. looking more and so, more like, like orcs. You know, Johnny's, Johnny's picture, he's a literal demon. Um, is he really? He's, well, he's a demon in his picture, even though the actual model is. Like, up and just a dude. Just a dude. <laughs> but <laughs> That's for, laziness. For the sake of, uh, for the sake of the fiction, we'll pretend that he's an actual demon. And so as you get closer, you know, the officers closer and closer to Johnny, I guess, get more evil looking until, I guess, his second in command, um, who, I can't even remember his name. Um, he's some really young looking kid. I almost feel bad for him. We'll get there when we get to a little late. Yeah. But you know, I'm looking at this highway, and, and I'm wondering if you ever get up to that ripping 55 miles an hour thanks to the magic yeah. of editing. Yeah. I mean, thanks to the magic of editing, I could get up to a ripping 55 miles an hour. And if you don't get that joke, then... Yeah. Or, you know, I could just, like, coast while stopping. Oh, shit. Or not, I could hit a bump in the road and have to start over again, but... I don't understand how that's a stoppy in this game. I hate to like, say this, but in Saints Row, in Saints Row, which is not obviously a game built built around its racing, uh, the stoppies actually stop you, even on low ground. I guess in this game, the brakes uh, only stop the back wheel, oh. so you're actually riding a bicycle for uh, eight-year-olds. Jesus. But yeah, this is Skull Valley. This whole area is supposed to be like Las Vegas, because there is Slot City in the background, which is... The Las Vegas themed level, and then the oh, desert cool. right outside it. And, and there's her frame, right? I, I like this just because it kind of looked like the two characters were conversing the only way they know how. You through know. sign language? Through sign, yeah, through sign yeah. language. Since your guy can't really talk. I mean, he can talk, but he only he insults you mouth, for crashing. He had his mouth sewn shut. Yeah. Wait, what? He insults you for crashing? Yeah. I've turned the volume down throughout the whole thing. Did you notice something that didn't play right there? What? The, the sound effect for... Yeah, completed. shouldn't there be like a... Yeah, or um, I'll get back to the thing about... Well, your character, like... Yeah, he insults you when you crash. I didn't know So, that. I must have... I did something here that I'd never done before. I must have completed the objective so, I guess, barely that it didn't load in the sound effect. Until just that. Or her voice. Listen up to this. Or rather, don't listen at all. Listen, you will hear. So, uh, obviously she's supposed to be talking right there. And nope, sign language. Well, no, I know. I uh, I played this level several times before, and so I'm like, uh... uh and, I, and I have to end the event and come back in for the, for the sound... It's, Why do you have to hear what she, has, what she has to say? Why is it important? Because it's a full game experience, man. I think you were just uh, jerking it while you were playing. And also... And also, you know, the, the stupidity of stuff that she says that's true. isn't quite the same without her, you know, talking. See, didn't that make it so much better? Not really, but I don't know. But, yeah, I somehow broke the sound Barrier. effects, sort of. Not not like the sound effects, like I could still hear my bike and everything, but... Just some of them. I broke the voices, I guess. I love it when I love Somehow. it when glitches like that happen, and you know, like, okay, I'm a programmer, so I'm telling the viewers. Obviously. Yeah, I'm a programmer, so whenever I'm programming something, and my program doesn't do what it's supposed to do, so maybe I've got a program that's supposed to uh, compute word permutations or something, and and it starts printing out duplicates or something it's not supposed to do, uh, you. It's not because the computer's being irreverent or something. It's, it, 
Wait. Okay, this one's called Roadkill. So oh, it by the way, it is called the Radometer. I was right. Your that's, radometer, yeah. That's retarded. Yeah. Um, so, you know, whenever things happen that, that really shouldn't be happening, it's not because the computer is trying to screw with you. It's it's because the computer is doing exactly what you told it to, and your logic is broken. So when things like the sound effects not working happen in video games, or like when an on-screen prompt just disappears, uh, I, always, I always wonder, what... In, in hell did they do? All they had to do was just say, play sound effect, and it doesn't do that. Where did you have more logic than that? You Clearly you overcomplicated the well, whole system. Well, when I broke the, the voices, and I guess the guitar, I, I landed really far along the rail. Like, I landed pretty much at the end trigger point, so it's like... I basically grinded as little of the rail as I could while still completing the challenge. I guess that somehow kind of fucked everything fucked up. Fucked it up, you know, like uh, you know, when your computer starts trying to like load one thing and then it just locks up, and you're like, my computer shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I, computer questions like that, I always wondered. Like, when I tell this program to end now. Why doesn't it fucking end now? You know? Like, I just want to physically reach into the computer and crush the program that's going. First of all, you can and, like, do that. Second of all, out. that's a really bad idea. You know, it just makes me want to take action. Why was that called the mortician? Because I pulled a coffin over the arch. Oh. So this level also has something cool. There's a... Uh, oh, I see you're making a face. What's that face about? That it's not called a game. It's not. It's not a game. It's not called Exploder. It's it's called Demolition, and it's something that most people do in controlled situations with like teams, not just lining a, a rock wall with explosives and then just ro driving your bike on it. So and standing underneath it, I guess. So this is the level where the game decides to do, I guess, an objective, uh, almost. Not quest. What am I looking for? Like, you need to do one objective to unlock the next, and you need to do that to unlock a third one. Like, you need to arm the explosives before you detonate them, and you need to detonate them to get to one of the objectives. And, uh, so she wants me to do a clean ride across them. Yep, that's clean. Yep, yep. good enough. <laughs> good enough for me. I was just like... This game is actually one clean ride. This game is actually really growing on me. I mean, it's bad, but <coughs> when I screw up, I'm almost like, y you know, there's a lot of funny ways to screw up, and it's like, uh, what, what funny things gonna happen next? You know, the game's not really frustrating at all, I except mean, for that one gopher thing. And and one thing in this uh, level, which actually is probably one of the worst challenges in the game, but. Like, right there, I was just, I was happy. I'm like, all right, I'll, y y you know, that, that that was fun. I'm glad that that happened. I'm no. not sure why that would make you happy. It's just... You're just a happy-go-lucky guy. <laughs> you, you know what I'm trying to say. Like, even when you screw up, some, it, it often looks funny enough or something funny enough happens that you don't really mind. Because once again, you don't ever lose minutes of progress. I feel like that was the exact same animation from the uh, from the other rocks. But this time the camera fell over, so you're wrong, I guess. Maybe. Maybe. No, I think I those were the same. I mean, if you look at them. That might be something you have to go back and check again. Yeah, I'll check that too. So at the end of this quest line, I guess, is, uh, yeah, probably one of the worst challenges in the game. This one? And I can explain why um, during it as you watch me almost get it and then just screw up for 30 seconds. I have a feeling. Does it in, does it involve driving on the ceiling? Yes. Okay. I can see why so, this would be a problem. Yeah, you don't. The really, game's not built to do this. You don't really know where they are, and also crashing destroy. You lose so much health when you crash. Like I'm sure. I'm pretty sure I crash again, and so you're gonna notice. But, so, six out of eight. Now I just need to find the other two. You ride like a nerd. 
Yeah, see Did he just say you'll probably get hurt? No, he said you ride like a nerd. But, yeah, look, I lost like a sixth of my health bar. But, yeah, it's like, where are the stalactites? You think it looks easy, you think it looks easy until this happens to you, and then you're like... It doesn't look easy at all. Oh. I mean... It's hard as fuck. I mean, you either... And you have a time limit and everything, Jesus. You either miss it terribly, or you get it really easily, like... Uh, in, in, you know, the next time I do this, like in the recording, um, I, I don't feel like I had very much, ma many problems. You know, this is the successful one, and I'm pretty sure I pull it off um, fairly quickly. Because you gotta kind of turn yourself, but then like the horizontal thing gets inverted, and... What little there is to be said has been said. This just looks hard and boring. <laughs> but there we go. There kind we of go. like, uh. There we go. Kind of like Dark Sector. <laughs> I was. Uh, can I just tell the sure, sure. Yeah, so I earlier today I was playing. It was like noon or so, and. And, and I was playing Dark Sector because I, I have it on, on the PC, and I, I hadn't beaten it. I hadn't even gotten that far, so I thought. You know, I, I'll just play it, you know, because I got it for free. And so I thought, uh, yeah, why don't I, uh, why, why don't I try to play it? And I got about 20 minutes in, and then I kind of lost track of time. And then I woke up, because apparently the game was so boring that, like, without even pausing, I just fell asleep in my chair. <laughs> and, like, the, it was at just... Noon. Yeah, at, at like, noon. Yeah, at, like, noon, like... I've only fallen asleep playing two video games in my life, and those two were Dark Sector, today, and uh, Pokemon Battle Revolution. Uh, and that's because Pokemon Battle Revolution is also extremely boring. <sighs> There's just, like, I, and he wasn't, he was just standing there with his like, idle animation or whatever, and, and I just woke up and I was like, did I really fall asleep playing this game? I'm really not enjoying this game <laughs> at all. <laughs> Dark so, sector, man. Oh, man. Man. One, and, like, the controls on the PC are so shitty. One night, I stayed up all night playing through Dark Sector, because, like, it, 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 you know, if you don't set it on, like, the hardest difficulty, it's actually sort of easy. Yeah. I stayed up all night, and it was like a fever dream. I can barely remember any of it <laughs> anymore. I can remember the final boss, sort of, and I can remember certain parts of the story where I'm like, What? How do they know each other? <laughs> this doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I've already reached points where I'm confused about the story because they seem to know... He seems e to know everything. more than the, the, the player knows. Which is fine, but then... He knows way more than the player knows. <laughs> and and some things that the player should know, they don't know. And they don't explain at all. At all, yeah. It was like everything in that game was just happening. Yeah. That's the best way I can describe it. Yeah, it was... I, no, I don't know. I don't know. Kind of like what... Um, what? Oh yeah, actually, it was Silent Hill Homecoming. Yeah, I was I was watching this LP of Silent Hill Homecoming, and I th I got to like episode ten, and I thought, uh, I thought, oh, I'm I'm not really sure exactly what's going on in the story, but I'm sure I'll figure it out by the end. And then I look at the the playlist, and what do you know? Episode fourteen is the end of the game, and I was like, the fuck? How like uh, how am I supposed to figure out the plot now? And it turns out nobody figured out the plot because the plot sucked. Also, in the, uh, yeah. in the right before the final boss, he he gets his leg drilled like with a drill in like the most obvious hostile reference I've ever seen, and um, he uh, he starts limping on the on the wrong leg for the rest of the game. Like he's like he's, he's using his it's... drilled leg as a strong leg. Yeah. <laughs> He's dragging his right leg behind him, but he got drilled in the left leg. Along with remembering something he wasn't there for. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. The, so, that game it was just... Ugh. It's been a brilliant week of video gaming for both of us, hasn't it? Yeah. Uh, it's been a terrible week in terms of work for me. But... So, welcome back to uh, Skull Valley. You saw me do some tricks. Nothing special there. Now you see me doing some racing. 
I want to say there's something special there, but no, not special. Nothing there. special. No. Like, I think it's really interesting that this place looks really kind of desolate, but they still have these like wind, what, what you call it, wind power things. Wind turbines. They're not turbines. They're they're harvesting wind wind power, and that's kind of weird. Like I think I've seen them in other levels too, and they're kind of out of place. What do you mean? I mean, what are they doing in this in this game at all? Um, a being scenery, because the developers had a small amount of thought about not having a boring ass landscape. B reminding us that we are in fact destroying the Earth with our carbon uh, fossil fuels usage, and we need to invest heavily in some sort of alternative energy. I didn't if realize we this are to survive. This game was sponsored by the guy who directed Birdemic. Yes. <laughs> John Wynn. Yeah. I, James uh, Wynn. Whatever his name was. Yeah. I, I gotta say, uh, I didn't realize this game was going to become a political treatise. Or, or whatever. A lot of these games have become political treaties if you think about it. Like, Gen X 2 first level was about us cutting down the rainforest. That's true. That's true. Um, yeah. Uh, what other... Well... Freak style, that guy just wanted the earth destroyed. Right. Um, uh, what's it called? Uh, aggressive inline. Definitely, that was a, a, a take on anarchy. Or, but, but was it showing how negative anarchy is? I think it was. No, showing it was how positive. Cool. It was totally yeah. for it. Yeah. yeah, it was absolutely for for it. Um, and then this game, well, it would have taken a stance on uh, alternative energy if it uh, wasn't also pro killing people. Cared about taking a stance at all. You know, much like how we kill someone in the games, just like, eh, that happened. <laughs> I mean, I know, it, it I doesn't know, try to force I know it we're down. looking way too far into it, but that's some of the fun, isn't it? You no. Know, imagining it's what's the hidden the subtext fun. behind uh, all this. Oh god, what other games had incredible hidden subtext? What What was the subtext of uh, uh, Wakeboarding Unleashed? Um, that natural disasters are just playgrounds for... Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Natural disasters are just... They're only... God put them on this earth so that wakeboarders could have fun. Yeah. Yeah. Flash floods. You, you know, your family... Yeah, your watch. family was... was uh, was uh Your family... Your home was destroyed. Your dog was killed. And all of your possessions yeah. are gone in the flood. So that... Oh my god, he's scaring me. Check it out. It's Mike, Mike Jones. Jones! It's mad misogynist Mike Jones. He's back. Wait, mad misogynist? Remember from Freak Style? Oh, I was thinking... Where, like, every every female character who oh, was like, right. I'm gonna win, he's like, get back in the kitchen. <laughs> I forgot you about should the... be the one handing out the trophies, not winning them. <laughs> God damn it, Mike Jones. <laughs> and, like, uh, he's got a baby face. He's got such a small face. He's got an evil baby face. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the I bottom like half of his head. I should is... make that face in real life. In fact, I am making that face in real life. You normally have that face yeah, in I real life. <laughs> oh god. Oh. I can't wait to fight against Mike Jones again. Yeah. M Mike Jones. <laughs> Not that much. Hey, guys. I'm Mad Mike. Oh. Heard of me? Yeah. Oh god. I would have picked him for the for this LP. But he's such a late game character that I started <laughs> recording before I unlocked him. Oh! If he was like, if he and uh, <coughs> uh, the guy from Rodeo Rise had switched places, I'd totally be playing Mike Jones. Yeah, Mike Jones. Except of course, since this game has no personalities, his character model just stands around. And he's like, hey, he was the one who killed your dad, though. So that's the important. No, part. no. Well, maybe like he he was he's all, Johnny all right, Mike henchman. Jones. As, I'll, actually, there's there. This is that's only the seventh level. There's one guy after him. Oh, again, I can't remember his name. Like Jeremy something. You're gonna see. Like at the end of the next video, Jeremy like, Irons. No, you're probably gonna be like, what the fuck, Jeremy you're... Clarkson. No, all right. Uh, see you guys then. I guess. Yeah. See you guys in Slot City.